Hello guys, I'm Cam, I'm the dog nutritionist. In this video, I'm not gonna be talking about just dogs, I'm gonna be talking about puppies too. In this video, we are going to go into why puppies don't have such a different nutritional requirement for dogs. It's actually really similar. And why you only need to be feeding your puppy puppy food up until the age of four months old and not a year old, which is what most people think. So you thought that puppies had a completely different nutritional requirement to dogs, that they were some little furry alien that had no real relation to their older selves. Well, this is just nonsense. There is a standard nutritional process that nearly all mammals go through. Mother's milk, half digested food, normal food. And for dogs, this is a very rapid process. DNA methylation has showed us that a puppy or dog is actually 25 years old in dog years after their first human year. They age really quickly. They have to do this because out in the wild, they are vulnerable at an early age. So that's why they can sit, stay, come at just two months old, or if it's like my dog, just run off and not come back. Your puppy's diet needs to reflect this very standard and natural process that us mammals go through. Up until three to four weeks old, they're gonna be on mother's milk. And from four to around 10 weeks old, ideally the breeder would introduce some really easily digestible meals, introducing more ingredients so the puppy's stomach could get used to them. From 10 to 15 weeks old, the diet is getting closer to that of an adult's diet. If you're gonna be introducing a raw food diet, you wanna start giving them really small bones like chicken wings, uh, moving on to maybe chicken legs or duck necks towards the end of that time. Always make sure with bones that they are not cooked, that's only for raw feeders. From 15 weeks onwards, it's on to adult food. Yes, from 15 weeks to a year, they will still need a slightly higher proportion of food to account for the fact that they are growing. I've done a video on how much you need to feed your dog. That is particularly important for puppies because we want them to grow at a slow and steady pace. You don't wanna overfeed them. That will mean there's excess calories. Those excess calories will go towards growing and a fast growth can lead to orthopedic issues in the future. So watch that video. I'm gonna link that out at the end. It's really important if you've got a puppy that you watch that video. For those of you who are still gonna be slightly stressed out at the prospect of balancing a meal for your puppy, have no fear. In the guide, which I've linked in the description, we have all the recipes you need. We have the early stage puppy recipes, introducing new ingredients, then later stage puppy recipes, and of course, all the adult recipes you'll ever need. Download the guide, use the recipes, and that will ensure your puppy grows into the healthiest dog possible. I promise you I was gonna link this video of how much food you need to feed your puppy. Make sure you watch it, don't overfeed them, keep them nice and athletic looking. All will be good. There's the video.